another important detail. Canary Island, La Palma experiences 40 tremors in 48 hours as scientists keep a close eye on its active volcano. Scientists fear that a volcanic eruption would create a landslide that would create a mega tsunami that would reach the east coast of the U.S. in about eight hours. Worst case scenario, the waves would be 130 to 160 feet high and move at a speed of about 650 miles an hour and travel inland about 12 and a half miles. And think of all the infrastructure, the nuclear power plants along the east coast. I did a lot of research in this area when the volcano of um, El Uro erupted. The Canary Holiday Island of La Palma has recorded dozens of mini earthquakes over the weekend, scientists reported. La Palma has a potential for a mega landslide there. This volcanic flank, this volcanic flank collapse would be immense. The proposed volume is up to about 500 cubic kilometers. The idea that gained some popular traction is that this landslide could generate a tsunami that would devastate a large part of the coastline on both sides of the Atlantic. This here is an image of what they call the scrape, the crack. You can see here where it's separated and it goes all the way up the side to this dome of this volcano, the eruption that happened you know, quite a while ago. La Palma is what they called a shield volcano. Think of the old uh, Roman shields stacked up on its side. And that's how this volcano was formed. The idea about this collapse of such an event developing is the events of the major eruption in 1949. During this event, a fault structure was observed to develop along part of the Cumbre Vieja Ridge. This has been interpreted as an indication movement of the flank of the volcano towards the west, thus the development of a potential flank collapse landslide on the southern part of La Palma. La Palma, like other islands of the Canary Islands archipelago, is a volcanic ocean island. The volcano rises about four miles, four miles above the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. These islands were formed as the crust of the earth slowly moved west and the plume of course stayed in the same spot um, erupting in different little spots creating the islands. La Palma was rocked by more than 40 seismic movements of low magnitude intensity between 1.5 and 2.7 on the Richter scale, according to data from the National Geographic Institute. The biggest earthquake recorded at around 1 p.m. on Saturday had a magnitude of 2.7 and took place in the area of the natural park in Bia Vieja, 28 kilometers deep. And that's about 17 miles. The second largest quake of 2.6 took place at 1.23 p.m. on Sunday in the same area while the third quake erupted at midnight on Monday reached a magnitude of 2.1 according to the Volcanological Institute of the Canary Islands. In the following hours another 10 tremors were recorded taking the toll of the mini earthquake until Tuesday to 50 according to IGN. Marie Jose Blanco, director of the National Geographic Institute in the Canary Islands, said the island has never recorded a similar swarm and although the energy levels are low and very deep, it is different from the seismic activity they have recorded so far. Well, they can see with the monitors if it's magma on the move, and they evidently picked up that signature. Only recently have they discovered the indication of past landslides from La Palma. You can see the scars up on top, but then under the sea, the seabed itself, you can see the large plumes of debris when different parts of the island collapsed. It was a much bigger island at one time. La Palma is the most northwesterly island of the Canary Islands and is home to some 86,000 people, a population which increases significantly during tourist season. Like other Canary Islands, La Palma is volcanic and is considered the most active in the archipelago. The last significant seismic activity in the archipelago took place in 2011 on the island of El Euro, which finally led to the eruption of an underwater volcano in the southeast of the island. It erupted on the side of El Euro, and I covered that, followed it all the way up until its eruption. 
another image of the crack that's been forming for a number of years. The most recent eruption on the island, which saw Cumbre Verde, old summit volcano erupt, took place in 1971. The current event has been dubbed a seismic swarm, and while unusual, large numbers of these smaller tremors are not abnormal. The director of the IGN in the Canary Islands told Canaries 7. However, she added that they had never recorded a similar swarm since monitoring began on La Palma. The IGN and the Volcanological Institute of the Canary Islands have increased surveillance on the island to monitor the increase in seismic activity. She said the seismic swarm are absolutely normal for an active volcano such as Gumbia Vieja. Here's a better view of the areas that have slid in the past and you can see the cracks that are forming you know in different locations from the ground you really can't tell the movement of this area but from satellite images it's been said that you can actually see it better scientists say governments are ignoring the threat of a piece of rock as big as the Isle of Man crashing into the Atlantic Bill McGuire the director of the Benfield Greg Hazard Research Center at University College London said a huge chunk of rock roughly the size of Isle of Man was on the brink of breaking off the volcanic island of La Palma in the Canaries. When Professor McGuire says it's not a matter of if the rock plunges into the ocean it will trigger giant waves called mega tsunamis. Traveling at speeds of up to 560 miles per hour the huge wall of water will tear across the ocean and hit islands and continents, leaving a trail of destruction. Mega tsunami waves are much longer than the ones we are used to. When one of these comes in, it keeps on coming for 10 to 15 minutes, Professor McGuire said. It's like a huge wall of water that just keeps coming. Another image of the crack that's been forming over the eons, and you know, you can tell it's been slowly filling in with sediment but you can still see the cracks. See that? Computer models of the island's collapse show the first regions to be hit with waves topping 330 feet will be the neighboring Canary Islands. Within a few hours, the west coast of Africa will be battered with similar sized waves. Between 9 and 12 hours after the island collapses, waves between 20 and 50 meters high will have crossed 4,000 miles of ocean to crash into the Caribbean and the eastern seaboard of the U.S. and Canada. I suppose what the hurricanes didn't wipe out, a mega tsunami would, right? The worst hit will be harbors and estuaries, which will channel the wave inland. The loss of life and destruction to property will probably be immense, according to Professor McGuire. Britain would not escape entirely, he added. Waves around 10 meters are likely to strike the south coast four to five hours after the island collapses, causing damage to seaside resorts and ports. This image of New York City being hit is from the National Geographic. Such devastating natural disasters are rare occurring on average every 10,000 years. But La Palma could collapse much sooner than that. The thing about La Palma is we know it's on the move now, Professor McGuire said. When it goes, it will likely collapse in around 90 seconds, Professor McGuire said. Despite the potential of the threat, little is being done to monitor the geological activity of La Palma. Only a few seismic monitors have been set up on the precocious western flank of the island, which do not provide enough information to predict when another eruption might occur. See, it's an eruption of a volcano that they fear will create the collapse. It's really a worrying situation, Professor McGuire said. It will almost certainly go during an eruption. The problem is that with just a few seismometers on the island, we may not get the notice we need. The U.S. government must be aware of the La Palma threat. They would certainly be worried. And so should the island states in the Caribbean that will really bear the bunt of the collapse. They're not taking it seriously. Governments change every four to five years and generally they're not interested in these things. Those that have followed me through the years, you'll remember me talking about this, right? 
and the ground movement has increased in the five years since I first covered this. La Palma wasn't having volcanic activity like it's starting to show now. You can see this image is from when El Euro before it erupted. Put your thoughts and comments down below. Bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.